Oh, dude, I'm ditching the jumper. I was like, oh, this will look nice. It'll also give me heat stroke and I'll pass out. Anyway, today we're talking about Border Town. It is a Finnish series. I do consider myself a bit of a Nordic Noir connoisseur, so I had been meaning to watch this one. It was actually a Finnish woman who first got me into all things Nordic, and she's the reason that I started learning Swedish. Yes, I am aware that Swedish and Finnish are not the same thing. It's a long story. My personal life aside, linguistically, it is about 95% in Finnish, it's 5% in Russian, and there are scattered short scenes in English. The reason the 5% in Russian is that the border town name refers to the fact that they uh, are on a border town. <laughs> they live in a place in Finland that is right on the border of Russia, so it's only a few hours drive to St. Petersburg, I believe. So season one of Border Town is 11 episodes, but it's not one case the entire way through like we're used to with most series these days. It's five separate cases that are two episodes each, or in the first one, it's three episodes. I didn't know that that's what was happening until the start of the fourth episode. I was like, oh, this is a new case. All right, so that's how this is going to be. It's so unusual that I kind of felt like I was a kid watching The Bill with my parents. There are still threads, especially character ones, but the cases are fairly separate. Until the last one, those ones sort of entangle a bit. So starting with The Good, I felt like this was an extremely competently written series. The cops feel very authentic, the relationships in it mostly feel quite genuine, and as far as series go, it is quite realistic. I was actually assuming at one point that it was based on a series of books because it just felt so much like that. If you've ever seen Wallander, the Swedish one that is based on books by Henning Mankell, it also felt like the Martin Beck novels, one of which is up there. They're very police procedural. They and this series are more about how the police do their jobs than they are about the cases. I read on some stupid clickbait list somewhere that Border Town is what you'd get if you set the BBC series Sherlock in Finland. That's total garbage for two reasons. They're referring to the fact that the main investigator in Border Town has this kind of mind palace technique, a little bit like Sherlock's, except his is way more realistic. So he actually puts things together that real people could put together and doesn't just make wild leaps. Additionally, Border Town doesn't undermine its own seriousness like Sherlock does. Don't get me wrong, I don't mind Sherlock, but it will spend like 10 minutes building up this thing that's supposed to be serious and it will all just be for some stupid joke. Border Town would never do that. In fact, some things in Border Town are so serious that I double took at what I was watching. Like, whoa, okay, they just showed that, all right. Still on the good. The series is accompanied by some surprisingly tuneful music, so if you watch my other reviews, which you should, you'll know I love the music to Trapped, but I would say that that is on the other end of the spectrum. It would be weird to listen to the music for Trapped outside of actually watching Trapped. Border Town sounds so tuneful that it could almost be a sort of neoclassical piece of music by Philip Glass or even Johan Johansson. Additionally, the music is used quite subversively, so sometimes we'll see entire scenes and even a couple of scenes in a row play out entirely without any sound or dialogue and just have the score playing over the top of them. And they won't be fancily cut to the score or anything like that, it'll just be the score, like we're listening to this piece of music and we're watching something happen before us. It's very refreshing. The cinematography in this is nice. Finland is a nice place and this series shows it off well. One thing does become evident as we move further through the series though, and that is that there's a heavy reliance on drone footage. Now, I can accept that we're in 2019, we have drones now. I don't have anything against drones, so I don't know why you would. There were actually some drone errors, two I think, or two that I noticed. So drone errors are like, where the camera's panning slowly and then it'll quickly shift and throw the whole shot off. It's, they're only very small, but once you notice them, you start becoming aware of all the drone footage, and then I noticed just how much of it there was. I know that sounds super picky, but I used to be a real estate photographer, and I would never have been allowed to submit an error like that 
to my clients as their final cut. So it's surprising to me that it made it into the final cut of a series like this. Additionally, the police station is extremely bare. I didn't notice it at first, and this isn't cinematography, this is more like set design. It's just so bare, I think they're going for a sort of minimalist thing that suits the greyness and just the whole idea of the series, but it's unrealistically bad. I did also notice one proper goof. There is a woman waiting supposedly off screen for her cue, except that she's not off screen, she's on screen, and you see her wait for her cue and then walk onto the set. It's probably unfair that I pick it up because I noticed it out of coincidence, I think. I just, I just happened to be looking at that screen at that time. But yeah, I think these this team of directors and uh, directors of photography are very talented people and I just think they haven't worked on something this big before. Additionally, I don't consider this a really big deal, but there are errors in the English subtitles. I don't speak Finnish, so I can hardly rag on their English. But it's the sort of thing that I know they would be quite hard on themselves about. Like if they said things in the English that were not quite right, they would sort of consider that quite unforgivable from their point of view. All up, technically, this is a very well shot and recorded series and it's very pleasant to watch. Moving on to the genuine facets of the series that I didn't like. I didn't dislike any of it. I would watch it again and I will watch it again. One of the facets that I didn't like is that the cases feel very impersonal and disconnected. I don't just mean that they didn't kidnap our protagonist's wife or some such thing. I mean more that they're just very realistic and procedural, as I said, which is hard to write, but it can just feel a little bit impersonal. They're more like real police cases. They're just like, then this happened, then this happened, then we need to go and arrest this person and compile all the evidence. That's kind of how it works in the real world, as opposed to, say, the bridge, which is pretty unrealistic, let's be honest, but there's always something exciting happening. Until the last couple of episodes of Border Town, it was realistic at the cost of being a tad bland. For me, the protagonist, the main investigator, is not a well-developed enough character. He has the most standard character flaw of all cops, which is that he's married to the job. That's a little bit overused to begin with, but then if we compare that even to, say, Sarah Lund from The Killing, who has exactly the same character flaw, Hers is so much more extreme, and she, that actress, just portrays that so, so well. And even though I'm not the biggest fan of The Killing, I think she and her deep flaws make it worth watching. From Border Town, I would like to see something a little bit more like that. A character who is just so far removed from what we want that character to be. Overall, I did enjoy the first season of Border Town. But I feel like it's really just laid the groundwork for possibly a much better seasons 2 and 3. I actually think the same thing about The Killing. The Killing season 1 was way too long and boring for me. Seasons 2 and 3 were much, much better. That's what I would hope for from Border Town. I want to see more engaging cases in which we feel the weight of what's happened more. And I want to see more character flaws, better more deeply explored character flaws. Anyway guys, those are my thoughts on the Finnish series Border Town. You can check it out on Netflix right now, but not until you've watched some of my other videos, of course. This channel is all about learning foreign languages and reviews of foreign language TV series and movies. So if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button or make a comment or both, why not? So wherever you are and whatever language you call your own, I hope you really enjoyed this and found it helpful and Kuolamin!